Utah Box, and we're talking to Gabriel Flores Jr., who will be fighting tomorrow night at Gillies, Dallas. Um, find your, your fourth fight? Okay, um, I saw you got, age of seven, you got into boxing. What got you into boxing? My older brother, Wayne Little Gutierrez, you know, uh, he was fighting. I was watching him, like, excited. He won a national title, bring number one nation. So, man, that, that put me up. I always like the challenge, and it looked real challenging, and I did it, and I went in, and I never looked back, man. That's good, man. How, how old is he more compared to you? Uh, he's six years older. Okay. I'm four years, my bad. Okay. What's the biggest difference from adjusting from amateur to pro? Uh, the biggest difference is just sitting down on your shots. And we didn't change nothing. We just uh, started to sit down on our shots more, throw less punches. Instead of throwing six punch combinations, throw a three punch combination. Just little things like that. Okay. Um, I know you're a senior in high school? Damn, first of all, let me see that ring right there. That's clean. Where'd you get that at? You had it made? Uh, sponsorship. Oh, okay. Uh, Texas Okay, that's fucking bitch nice. Um, is it hard adjusting? Your senior in high school, is it hard adjusting from keeping up with your schoolwork and boxing? Of course. You know, uh, me traveling all the time and me keeping up with the work is hard, but I get it done. Um, I told your pops, I sent him a message. It's funny because we started, you know, you made your second fight here in Dallas. Um, my brother takes pictures for the website. I run, write stories. My brother's a big Floyd fan. So when he saw you, I said, as soon as I saw you fight, I was like, my brother's gonna send a message. Hey, I like this kid. I like the style. What, um, where you, where'd you get this, where'd you pick up the style from? You're just so slick when Honestly, you fight the I, ring. I picked it up from Roy. You know, when I was little, I used to always watch Roy. I was so little, I couldn't watch a 12 round fight. But when Roy came on, I was all four. I'll be there from round one to round 12. So uh, that's where I got a lot of my influence from. Uh, real inspiring. That's where I really like. That's where it also gives me up to fight. I love Roy fight. I love how he was so smooth, yeah. confident. He was so bold.ing You know, he was in there like it was a playground. That's why he did so well because he was always so loose. And I mixed that up with my father talking. You know, okay. whatever my father. So, I mean, you must have must been must have been watching replays because he was. I remember when he was he's still not retired really. I guess last year. But when the prime, he was like 2003, and you were born in 2000, so yeah, I mean. Yeah, so I was, uh, yeah, I was like six years old right there watching Roy, you know, yeah. so. I just tell people all the time, man, the style, him, Prince Nassid, when nobody comes out like that, like the ring appearance and yeah, shit like that. not a Roy fight that I don't think I haven't seen. Yeah. You know, I watched all my boys stuff. So, you know, that's, not, that's where I all came from. Okay, um, like I told you, talking about your mom, it happened when you were 12 years old. Do you think that helped you mature faster than... You know, they say a lot of kids, when something happens to them, either parents get divorced or something like that happens that helps them mature faster than normal, you yeah, know, other you know, kids. People, people ask me all the time, you know, well, what, what makes you think, what, well, why did I mature so fast? Yeah. I tell you because, man, it's the events that happened in my life. You know, uh, before my mom, I had a, a, my great-grandma pass away, I had my open night pass away, my cousin Caesar, you know, there's a few deaths in my family. My mom, of course, the biggest paycheck on me. So you know, you just you just gotta appreciate for the time that you had with them. That's all you could do. Yeah. And you know, remember the things they told you. And I wanna, t I'll thank my mom, you know, for yeah. treating me up as a humble, respectful man. Um, do you feel like I know you're from Stockton? Do you feel like your city gets a bad rap, or I mean, like say everybody, everybody's from somewhere. You know, every city has a hood. You know, but I feel like you know. People are like that. They're not from the town. They're like, hey, that's that's bad part of town. I don't know. I grew up there. I grew up in a bad part of Dallas. People are like, hey, it's bad there. No, to me, it's not. But you know, people come outside from out of town, they might view that. But do you feel like they get a bad rap compared to? I mean, it's, it's uh, only so many things you can say. You know, I mean, the, the killing rate is high. Over yeah, there, yeah. Right? So, of course, we get a bad rap. How are we doing? How are we not? Yeah. Get a yeah. Bad rap, you know, but. It's my job to show everybody that there is beautiful parts of Stockton. You know, uh, they have my vision to okay. see what's coming out of my eyes yeah. in my city. Yeah. So that's my job. That's what I'm here fighting every day for. You know, to show everybody that people out of Stockton could make it. Yeah. You know, they, they get a good, good chance. Yeah. But in their mentality, they don't have a chance. Yeah. So that's why I come out here. I win. I come back to my city and I tell the kids this and that. Yeah. And I prove to them that they can do it even though they don't have both their parents. That's great, man. That's great. That. Now, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, I know he's 1-0. Oh, he got one knockout. Okay. You know, just like my last opponent was 1-0 oh, with one knockout. You know, my last opponent ran for me the whole time. Yeah. So I guess records don't really make, say, say much. Yeah. What's your... Um... 
Where did the G, G unit squad come from? G squad. G squad. It came from my pops, you know, uh, they just quit. You know, I don't know, you just came up with it. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's what it is, that's my team. Okay, what's your social media for people who want to find you? G underscore squad underscore nation. That's for Instagram and Twitter. And Facebook, Gabriel Flores. Okay, appreciate it, man. Yeah, man.